Hi, this is Stuart here. I'm doing a real recording of Mega Man X3, which I picked up recently. Um, now, usually I play these as a I've never played. I've had a quick go of this, so I can't say I've never played it, but to be honest, that's the first time I've ever played a Mega Man of any game. Um, I am very new to the genre, or to the franchise, should I say. I've actually noticed that this game struggles in my Japanese Saturn, and I don't know why, because there's not a mark on it. I don't know if you can hear that, but the Saturn's making a lot of noise. It's been loading for a while as well. Very impressed with the intro. Very high quality. They just don't make intros like this. They don't make intros full stop really now, do they? They might show a little bit of gameplay, but the thing about this is it's animated, it was painted, it was then re scanned in, because I really doubt there'd be software which actually could make um, animation directly on computers. I don't think computers are powerful enough. It's like an animation of all the things that Mega Man kills in this episode. Or this game, should I say. I wish you knew what you were singing about. Anyway, let's get on with it. So let's press that. The intro is actually quite long. I think there's a couple of different ones as well. We could be there for a very long time. Regular viewers will know that I usually film the television and then blend it over. Um, I'm sat in the dark at the moment, so when I set up the camera, it's just showing the screen, what you can see on the screen, so there's no point doing the blend bit. So I've done what I'm, I'm doing, what I'm similarly, similarly, I'm doing what I've done on my that's it, the, the, this... Ugh! The options menu doesn't, or the screen where you'll set the game stays on for literally 10 seconds before the demo starts again. Anyway, what I was saying, I've moved the camera up close and I'm going to do what I similarly... I'm going to do what I did on my um, video pickups. I just have like the uh, camera footage with all the pixels as like a border for the captured video on the video. So let's go to option mode, have a quick look. Here. So shoot, jump, dash, L and R, do L and R, and you let's go to stereo, shall we? Monorial. They love that phrase. I looked that up, that is actually a correct term. So the Japanese are probably probably using the correct term and we're actually using shortened version of it. Here we go. Let's start again. CD making a lot of noise again. Why is it called Rock Band? Is it Rock number 6 in Japanese? Now, I've only played this a couple of times. I know the blue guy is Mega Man or Rock Man, as I know it in this. And I think the guy in red is X. And I think I worked out with my brilliant brain that the Rock Man slash Mega Man X series has the red guy in it. Tell me if I'm wrong. No idea. We'll say that. Now the first thing I noticed is this nasty border around the screen. I don't know why, because the Saturn could easily play this game without any issue at full screen. Another thing I've noticed, you can't duck, so I can't crouch and hit things on the lower edge. Which is stupid.
Uh, notice that as well. There's, there's, you sort of go slightly off the screen and you go back there again. I know some games you have to go quite far away from the screen. Um, but this, the item just goes, or the enemy just goes, only just leaves the screen. If you turn back, they're there again, which is quite annoying in some situations. So, holding down the A button, to charge up. Now I've noticed that the jump's very fickle. Where you play like a Sonic game, you get a bit of inertia. So you press jump, and when you let go, you carry on going upwards slightly. And you can time your jumps by how long you let, or how long you tap the button for. But this one, as soon as you let go, it comes back down. So if you do a little tap, do you mean, see that enemy came back? It's hardly off the screen. This actually makes it quite hard when I'm trying to jump because you basically got to jump and let go of both of them at exactly the same time, it's, it seems a bit awkward to see. Especially with the Saturn controller, because I'm basically um, spreading my thumb over A and slightly B. Hello back, ooh, short now. No idea what we're saying, but... Tell me, people, uh, the storylines in Mega Man slash Rockman, the things are noteworthy. It's okay, I, th I think this is X now. He's slightly different to Mega Man. I think it's better to be honest. I think it looks better. Yeah, because he's got that cool whip laser thing. And if you charge this up long enough and you press A twice, you just a double shot. And I don't think. Mega Man has him to do that. I don't know whether he charges up later. So I can't duck underneath these. No, ah, here we go. Now, when I jump across there, I can't. What we've got to do is hold down the dash button, which is C, and that guy's back. I can't duck underneath that. Um, hold down C and I jump up, I get a bit a bigger boost jumping off the wall. But now I've got to hold down C and then cover the B with my thumb. So if you've got little thumbs, you're really going to struggle. So again, I'm holding down C and just covering over B with my thumb, because otherwise, you don't, otherwise you can't jump across like that. I think that person, that enemy, is actually uh, immortal. Is this a mid boss? Um, he's actually piss easy, and yet I have yet to find a way to actually avoid getting hit by him. Because he's. Wow. I'll just slug it out with him, what I have to be honest. Egg, keep jumping up. Oh. There you go. No idea what's going on. He shoots up uh, Mega Man slash Rock Man State. I'm going to call him Red and Blue. That's his waste thing. He goes. Oh no, he didn't do it as well. I'll tell you later. Okay, so we're going to do the rush jump up over here. Now, the strange thing is, I have no control over him now. This tune here is absolutely awesome. This enemy appears and it changes the tune. One of the first tunes is absolutely brilliant. Oh. oh, come on. Last time I played this, he didn't do any of that. He just knocked the thing straight down. Red. 
Bla bla bla. Darkness. I off. I have to wonder. When I saw that, I thought it was some sort of strange bingo card. It's actually your save game code. I found that out when I clicked continue and asked to fill it in. There you go. Now I think you can select where you want to go. I'm going to select this guy because I found a bit of a flaw in it, which is annoying as hell. It's quite difficult. Again, really nice quality video. That's for a Saturn access, that's a very good for a Saturn. But again, all this had to be animated, it had to be drawn, coloured in, scanned in, and coded. I think you get a little video of the enemy. Electro Maz. Arus. I oh, can't read it that quick. Electro something. Ready. Here it comes. Let's change it one room. Now they shoot us dash through them. And out. Now this is what I'm gonna do. Now what I'm doing now to dash through them, I'm actually holding down the A button with my thumb and to dash through it I'm pressing the C button with my index finger knuckle. I could just double tap left. I can't shoot him like that. Oh the shooting finger shield down. Ah I've been letting this light wear down. There's Now this is where it got a bit difficult now, because I've got to hold dash to jump far enough to get over there. This enemy's going to be back, so I've got to charge it up by holding down A to charge up. But I'm holding down C to get my bigger jumps, and then pressing B to jump. I went the wrong way with that one. So if you know, I'm actually using all three buttons. So I've actually got my index finger and my middle finger and ring finger. It not ideal. I think this would be easier on a different style of controller. See again, can't duck underneath them, just gotta let it hit me. The other way, so I... Now those spikes on the side are instant death, so avoid. Should we go off there? Let's go left. What? Oh, there's another one. Ooh. I think I need to go left and do something. Uh, what's that? There we go. Okay. There we go. Oh, okay. What? Dead. I think we'll leave it at that. Um, do you know, despite its difficult control system with this pad, um, with a different key layout, I think it'd be better. Even with an arcade stick, I think it'd be even better then. Despite its difficult controls, you might have heard me just bitching about this game. It is absolutely brilliant. Um, I can't explain it, I'm really enjoying it, I love the graphics, I love the music, people going about um, Mega Man music, I've never experienced it, but this is brilliant. Um, I 
think it's just going to be something I'm going to slog on with it and I will find a system for the controls because this game is absolutely... I love it. Uh, I think it's brilliant. Um, if you get a chance to play it, give it a go. Um, as always, thanks for watching and I hope to have a video up soon. They're both going to be bad. Oh. But I love it.